now we're going to start inventory management this is an introduction video for s4 hana inventory management and in the next videos we'll talk more about uh, different concepts in inventory so in this video we'll talk about the overviews of these topics so first we'll talk about what is inventory management then we'll discuss movement types and inventory changes uh, in S4 HANA as compared to SAP ECC. Then we'll talk about the transition code changes and configuration changes as compared to ECC. Then we'll also talk about the database table changes, um, SAP Fiori applications, SAP Catch weight management overview, and also we'll talk about the master data, material master data simplification. So let us start with what is inventory management. As we know, know that changes to stock are made in a company on a daily basis. These might be, for example, goods received from a vendor in the form of a purchase order, or it can be internal stock transfer or provisioning of materials for the production purpose. Inventory management deals with the management of stock either on value or quantity basis. It includes planning, entry, and keeping records of all the movements of goods. Goods movement create a document that updates all the stock quantity and value in the inventory that is known as the material document. Physical inventory is a part of the inventory management. It is the process of taking inventory of your stock. Now, with all these topics, we'll talk in more details in the coming videos. So this is just an overview. Now we'll discuss about what is movement type. Now what is movement type? If you're new to SAP or S4 HANA, if you never used movement type or SAP before, then let me briefly explain you what is movement type here. And then there will be a separate video later on where we'll go in depth about movement types and it's customizing as well. So basically what movement type is, so whenever we uh, whenever we do a like goods shipped or any inventory uh, transaction via MIGO transaction or any similar transaction, it's always using a um, movement type. So let me call a document in the MIGO transaction. So say in this example, if I display this material, say this one, if I execute this. So for example, that's the goods shipped of these goods. So if you scroll to right, you will be able to see a movement type. So here the movement type is 101. So if I open the search box, so movement type 101 means good shift of the purchase order into the warehouse. So there are different movement types. And when you create any uh, inventory management transaction, system will automatically pick the correct movement type depending on the customizing. So that's the movement type. So everything, every transaction will, will pick up a movement type automatically. So again, as I said, we'll talk more about in the, uh, in a video later on about the movement types. So just an overview only here. So movement type describes the type of stock posting in inventory. It represents whether the posting of stock is against goods shipped or goods issue. Below are the most commonly used movement types. For example, 101 is a goods received for the purchase order. 103 is a goods received for the purchase order into the goods GR uh, block stock. 201 is the goods issue for the cost center. 261 is a goods issue for an order. 301 is a transfer posting plant to plant in one step. 305 is the transfer posting between plant to plant in two steps. 311 is the movement type for transfer posting between storage location to store location in one step. And there are many more movement types. So in the coming videos, we'll talk about these topics like goods received for purchase order, goods issued to a cost center in more details. Now types of movement types. There are basically two types of movement types. First one is the internal movement types. So as the name is saying internal, that means all the transaction happening within a company for the internal purpose. For example, goods received for a production order, stock transfer between the plants or between the storage location, can be scrap, can be inventory adjustment, 
or maintenance repair or inventory management for plant maintenance. So these are all the in internal movements within a company. So these are, um, uh, so these are, will fall under our in internal movement types. And then we also have external movement types. For example, any transaction which is linked to the external goods issue, goods receipt, stuff like that. So for example, goods receipt for a purchase order is example of external movement type or a goods issue to a sales order. So we'll discuss later on in a, another video about the movement types. Now we'll discuss as for HANA inventory management changes. So all the changes happened um, as compared to ECC in S4 HANA. First of all, we'll discuss about the transaction code changes. With trans tra transaction code changes, there are some transactions that are permanently obsoleted. So below are the transaction codes that are obsoleted and instead of them we need we are supposed to use microtransaction as a re replacement. So this transaction, for example, MB01, MB02, MB034, 5, and all these transactions, they are no longer available in S4 HANA. They used to be there and still there in SAP ECC. And below transaction are still available, but it is re recommended that we need to use Fury apps for them. And the plan for the future is they will be obsoleted sometime in the future in the next release. So for example, stock uh, stock overview transaction, for example, MMB or MB51, MB52, MB5B. So quickly, if I show you this movement type, for example, these obsoleted movement types, MB01, MB02, if you try to, if you try to open this transaction, say if I here try to open MB01, you will get an error. So here you can see there's an error that this transaction is obsolete. So, and there's SAP note for that. So you can't use this transaction anymore, but if you still need to use it in, in GUI, then you can use MyGo as a replacement. So let us discuss S4 HANA database table changes. So in SAP S4 HANA has also made database changes to the traditional table structure used in inventory management. Various traditional tables such as MKPF header table and MSEC table and some hybrid tables are also obsoleted. Now this is very interesting here that I'll discuss in a minute. So these tables are basically obsoleted and instead of them, uh, all tables are basically converted to a single table name which is MatDoc and this table has most of all the header and item table attributes within one table. Now this is very very interesting that SAP is saying that and you can also find a lot of SAP standard documents that MSEG, MKPF and many other tables are obsoleted. But what happens is if you check in S4 HANA system, you will find they're still there. Whereas they're saying it's obsoleted. Now, why is that? And even there's a data there. So what's the theory behind it? If I, if I go to SC16 and if I open MSEG, for example, and if I see number of entries here, you can see we still got many entries here. If I check the other table MKPF which SAP is claiming that in this system is obsoleted but still we got many entries here and all these tables they're saying that is converted to a single table MatDoc this one so but why we if they're claiming that if the MSEC table is no longer available then why do we have have data in this one if I execute it you will find some data here the 200 entries only so you can find some data here now what what's the what's the difference why why is happening like that so the basic thing is is in actual this table is obsoleted what that means is this table is no longer storing the data 
but when you try to open this table here it's basically pointing you towards a mad doc table that's the difference so if you want to test this one if you know a map and you can write a select statement and try to uh, pull data from msec table try to pick up all the data from there and you will find system will find zero entries because there is no data exist in msec table or the other tables that are obsolete and whenever you try to open it this table this screen is basically pointing you towards a mad doc table so that's the reason and also you can verify this by if you go to sc11 and here if you try to open the database table msec for example if i go to display and here if you go to extra extras and go to replacement object you will find the replacement object name is this one so this is basically a cds view name so if you if i press f1 on this one you will see more details about this one so basically you can see all this detail so basically this is saying that this is a replacement object and that means uh, this table is not longer available that's the in the meaning in the simple words so yes if if somebody somebody ask you that okay the why this table is still there whether sap claiming is not there you can mention that yes it's actually it's not there but it's actually reading the data from the m, m met doc table now we'll discuss configuration changes in s4 hana now from configuration point of view there's not much changes happened from inventory management point of view the significant change for inventory manage management configuration is its dependency with mandatory changes in the material ledger functionality for material value valuation now this material ledger is basically a part of the finance module in s4 hana the material ledger function is mandatory to support flexible valuation methods in multiple currencies now we'll discuss about the fury applications that are linked to the inventory management so basically there are a lot of different um, fury applications available and in the next couple of videos we'll go through all these applications um so a variety of end user applications available for for performing day to day um, inventory management functions these apps provides personalized role based and user friendly experience to access transactional and analytical applications now also we'll discuss about sap catch weight management now if you never heard about what is sap catch weight management so let's discuss briefly here what that means and how this is linked with s4 hana now catch man manage weight management is a industry specific module in the food processing industry catch weight management provides tracking a single item throughout the supply chain in two different units of measure one for valuation purpose and one for the supply chain processing sap catch, catch management weight management has been enabled within sp sap s4 hana and this is now offered as a general function rather than a industry specific function from 1809 onwards versions so before 18 1809 version it was it was a industry specific function but this is now converted to a general functionality within all on premise system now we also prefer to discuss about the material master data simplification as we discussed in one of the previous video that um there's a change in the length of the matner uh, or the material code that you can create so earlier in ecc it, you can only create up to 18 length of the material code but now they change it to 40 character uh, in s4 hana system so we can have a longer material we can create up to 40 character so that's all about the introduction side on the next couple of videos we'll discuss in more details including the customizing about the inventory management so just a recap so we learned about what is inventory management uh, different movement types uh, inventory management changes in s4 hana changes in the transaction codes changes in the configuration database table changes 
uh, Fury applications available for inventory management and um, catch weight management overview. And finally, we'll discuss about the material master data simplification. So that's all about this. Thank you very much to watch this.